Hey, 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 guys, we are rocking and rolling. Today we're coming from the book of Proverbs chapter 7, another warning about the immoral woman. Thank you guys so much for visiting my channel. I greatly, greatly, greatly appreciate you taking out the time just to hear what God has placed on my heart to say to you. So today we're coming um, from Proverbs 7. I'm coming from the New Living Translation. You guys are more than welcome to come from whichever Bible you prefer. Before we get into the word, we're going to say a quick prayer of thanksgiving father god thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you for hearing our prayers thank you for working in our situations thank you for what you have done for us thank you for what you are doing for us thank you for what you will do for us god and those that we are connected to thank you for releasing blessings thank you for releasing grace thank you for releasing favor thank you for releasing increase thank you for releasing discipline thank you for releasing renewal fresh scrub fresh glory refreshing over our lives and everything else that we may be needing god in the name of jesus we pray amen so we're going to kick it off of verse one that i'm going to read through uh follow my advice my son always treasure my commands obey my commands and live guard my instructions as you guard your own eyes tie them on your fingers as a reminder write them deep within your heart and when when god shows me to put something deep in my heart I, I see it as like a jewel, right? Like a diamond, like a pearl, like a jewel. And I swallow it and it's in my heart. And you know that, you know, you can't swallow that in real life. If you do, you know, it's going to be problems and you may have to get it surgically removed. But I see it as being swallowed and dropped in my heart. And it's, it's staying at the bottom of my heart. It's staying in my spirit. It's staying before me. And I'm following that and I'm cherishing that. And that is rare to me. And I'm not putting it in a place where... People will abuse it or I'm casting it before pigs or swine. I'm putting it in a place that's secure, that's in a secret place. I'm putting it in a place where it's going to be protected, right? So it says, um, follow my advice, my son. Always treasure my commands, right? Because when we treasure something, we don't put our real jury just out for anyone to put it, to take it. We put it in sacred places. We put it in places where only we know where it is or if someone does know where it is, you know, someone that we trust, Right? So follow my advice, my son. Always treasure my commands. Obey my commands and live. Guard my instructions as you guard your own eyes. Tie them on your fingers as a reminder. Write them deep within your heart. Love wisdom like a sister. Make insight a beloved member of your family. Let them protect you from an affair with an immoral woman, from listening to the flattery of a promiscuous woman. While I was at the window of my house looking through the curtain, I saw some naive young man, and one in particular who lacked common sense. He was crossing the street near the house of an immoral woman, scrolling down by the path of her house. It was at twilight in the evening as deep darkness fell. The woman approached him, right? She approached him seductively depressed and sly of heart. She was the brash, rebellious type, never content to stay at home. She is often in the streets and markets, soliciting at every corner. She threw her arms around him and kissed him, and with a brazen look, she said, I've just made my peace offerings and fulfilled my vows. You're the one I was looking for. So she just came from worshiping God. She just came from praising God, and she's into and she's into this, right? Not saying any of us are perfect, but it just goes to show you that you have to watch certain people. You have to watch certain connections that... You know, people want to connect with you. You just have to watch your connections, right? So she's like, "I look, I, I just made my peace offerings and fulfilled my vows. You're the one I was looking for. You don't even know me. How are you coming out to look for me, right? So she said, you're the one I was looking for. I came out to find you, and here you are. That's the devil. My bed is spread with beautiful blankets, with colored sheets of Egyptian linen. I perfume my bed with mirror aloes and cinnamon. Come, let's drink our fill of love until morning. Let's enjoy each other's caresses. For my husband is not home. That's stuff you're supposed to be doing for your husband. You saw, you looking for me. You don't even know me, but you did all this for me. It's a trap. You have to watch them, guys. You have to watch them, girls. It's just, he said, my husband is not home. He's gone away on a long trip. He has taken a wallet full of money with him and won't return until later this month. So she seduced him. And not only did she seduce him, clearly he let her. Clearly she let him, right? With her pretty speech and enticing with her flattery. He followed her at once, like an ox going to the slaughter. He was like a stag caught in a trap, awaiting the arrow that will pierce his heart. He was like a bird flying into a snare, little knowing it would cause him 
It's life. This is a warning, guys. I've been there. Accept the warning. So listen to me, my sons, and pay attention to my words. Don't let your heart stray away toward her. Don't wander down her wayward path. For she has been the ruin of many men. Many men have been her victims. She's been the ruin of many. Many men have been her victims. Her house is the road to the grave. Her bedroom is the den of death. So that is going to um, conclude our session for today. We came from the Proverbs chapter 7 from the book of Proverbs. Make sure you join me tomorrow. We're coming from Wisdom Calls for a Hearing coming from Proverbs chapter 8. Leave a comment, guys, if you don't mind on how this video has blessed you. If you have not subscribed to my channel, make sure you subscribe and share this video with a friend or someone that you feel could use um, this word. And don't forget to like, um, hit the like button. I would greatly appreciate that. Now, God bless you all. Have a great day. Enjoy me back on here tomorrow. God bless.